Hey, welcome back to How to Use Your Fountain Pen. We are on week three. Week one was to start a journal, start a few journals, and I gave you some ideas about that. Week two was to uh, send a or multiple greeting cards. And we talked about some uh, ways that you can do that to make it more inexpensive and just how what an impact it can make on the recipients. Okay, this week is similar to last week. So on week three, we're talking about just letter writing. Boy, I tell you what, much like the greeting cards, letter writing has really gone by the wayside because again, it is so easy to just sit down at a keyboard and type out an email and even though the the message of what's being sent is really the most important important part because it does take time to sit down and and type out uh, a digital message <laughs> so it's not that it doesn't mean anything but is it the best way is it the most effective way to show your care your concern all right, so what about what what kind of when it comes to letter writing, I, I have a, I have some ideas that might kind of spark uh, some ideas in your mind. Uh, for one, you can write to public officials. I think we need to take more responsibility in doing that. And I think it helps us to learn as well how to communicate with others because when you write something it's different than typing it because writing it slows you down a little bit to where you think about what you're saying and yeah editing is a little more cumbersome and all that it takes a little time writing takes more time but i think it better communicates your feelings, the intensity of whatever you're trying to say, be it funny, be it serious, it communicates that more than just typing it out, out on a keyboard. So you can write to public officials, uh, write to your, uh, in America, we can write to the White House, to the president. And I've, I've sent electronic, you know, because you, you, you go on the website, the White House website, and it says, you know, message four, and then it gives you a pull-down menu of all kinds of people from the president down. And you can write out a communication. And these, you know, somebody reads these communications because I've received replies. I mean, not personal, but, you know, they're, they're replies nonetheless. Uh, but the important thing is when you're writing to government officials, even if they don't communicate in a personal way back with you, you are letting them know how you feel about certain issues. And that's important. They need to know about that. And so they get a lot of, here, here's why I think you should, uh, we, we should write uh, rather than uh, do the electronic uh, emails and stuff is because of the fact that writing has kind of gone by the wayside when they get a real letter that says something it either means you're a, a boomer or older <laughs> maybe an, an a gen xer i don't know but uh that's probably their first response oh man this is an old person anyway but not necessarily and when they get it from somebody you you know you write in there and say hey you know i just graduated college or i'm a i'm a young professional of some sort and i, I you know i'm getting started in life and i have these concerns uh about this particular issue or these issues and so forth I, when you write that out Again, that, that means that you have taken some extra time. And so this is really serious to you. So you can write to your public officials, be they on a national level or a local level, to express you know, your, your opinions and show, show your concern. Now, I think it behooves us also to learn how to be uh, tactful in how we write. Uh, because if you if you just get on there and just rant about and you know cussing and everything else and 
that doesn't help what you're trying to accomplish. It really doesn't, unless you're just trying to have somebody a bad day. Because those, those are going to end up, if somebody opens up a letter like that, it's going right into the, what they call a circular file. And uh, so, so don't do that. So think about the best way to communicate um, in a respectful way uh, how you're feeling. Okay, so uh, public officials, uh, just your friends. Write your friend a letter. And, and again, it doesn't have to be, you know, constant, you know, every week you're writing a letter or something, but just write them a letter. Let them mention something that happened in your past that you were thinking about that day and it just uh, really made you laugh or made you cry, whatever the case may be. Uh, that's, that's great, you know, to be able to write right to them. And when they get, again, just like a greeting card, when they go to the mailbox and they, they pull this out, wow, they wrote me a letter, you know, and what did I do? No, that just means a lot, a lot more when you're communicating in that written form because you have taken your time to write to them. Okay, how about something, this is kind of interesting, and I, I don't know that people do this as much anymore as what they used to, but how about getting a pen pal? Just, uh, there's, I know that there's some organizations that uh, work with this, uh, you know, matching people up and, and that. Uh, also there's, what's it called, Ink, Ink Rhymo or something like that. Um, I know with Goulet pens, they used to promote it more, but I think in February, is when they start promoting uh, people, you know, writing. And I, and I can't remember, I did it one time and uh, was communicating with a couple of people, just, you know, basic stuff, telling them about our pens and that sort of thing. But uh, anyway, so you, you can do something like that. Uh, you, you know, find somebody that uh, is in your, your profession or uh, has a hobby that you like, pens, uh, from a foreign country and you know just start writing to them about your interest and after a while you know you can uh, talk about things that are going on in your country some cultural stuff you know don't you know keep it light um, you don't want to get I say you don't want to but maybe you do whatever if it gets serious and you know as long as it's not straining the relationship type thing but I just think it'd be interesting uh, to find out about somebody's culture from somebody in that culture. But just, you know, how, how does somebody in a different culture uh, live their everyday life? How is it different from ours? How is it the same as yours? You know, that would be kind of fun. Now, <clears throat> I want to put a disclaimer on that because you want to be careful, I think, about getting maybe too personal I'm not, I'm not talking about trying to encourage people to, you know, find the love of your life type thing. I mean, that may happen, but just be careful about divulging a lot of personal inf information about yourself. I, I've just heard, I've heard stories about, you know, people trying to say, well, you know, I'd really like to be able to do this, but I, you know, I don't have any money and this kind of thing. And then, you know, they're trying to wheeze you out of, out of your cash. So just make that a, 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 a rule from the, from the get go. You know, you're, you're not, you're not talking, you're not sharing certain personal things and there's n never money. If, if the money comes up, if anybody has, ever asks you to start sending money, you know, in my opinion, uh, I would just cut that off. So that's just kind of a disclaimer, but I think those are going to be few and far between if you go through a reputable organization uh, that can match you up. I, I, when I was 12, I, I had a pen pal down in Guatemala, I think, and uh, that lasted for a while. Then, you know, we both lost interest or whatever. So, uh, but, it, but it was fun. And so that, that could be another idea about letter writing. Okay, so there's week three. Write a letter to public officials, personal friends, to, to a pen pal. And I hope uh, that has spurred in you some ideas of how to use your fountain pens. All right, stay tuned until week four. Have a great day.